What's up guys? This is Nestor Adrian Sen again. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Hey, before we get started, I have a couple of questions for you. Do you guys find challenging to group items inside of a pivot table? How about slicers? Well, let me tell you something. It doesn't have to be that way. That's why today I'm going to teach you how to group items inside of a pivot table and also I'm going to teach you how to insert slicers, okay? But before we do that, please let's make sure that you have subscribed to this channel because you don't want to miss the tips and tricks that I share on a weekly basis, okay? All right, no more talking and let's dig in. So for this exercise, I created my own data. So this is basically a fictional insurance company and we have the ID, we have the claim ID, date claimed, date delivered, product claimed, product delivered, and we also have order accuracy. So for order accuracy, if the product claim matches the product delivered, so we are saying that the order is accurate, okay? Please have that as a reference because we might need it later on, okay? So we need to insert a pivot table Let's make sure that we're inside of the table and then we press insert pivot table. Automatically this data has been selected and then we're going to place this pivot table in the same worksheet, existing worksheet. And then we select this cell. We hit OK. There we have it. And then we are going to place these items into these fields. Okay, so for this exercise, we're gonna place product delivered into rows, then order accuracy into columns, and also product delivered, we're gonna count the items delivered. So we're gonna place into values. Make sure that this is count, okay? There you have it. So we're gonna group those items according to the areas of the house that they belong to. Okay, we have Blender right here. And then if we see Microwave, so we might say that Blender and Microwave need to be together, right? That's correct. So we select Microwave, and then we're gonna drag Microwave below Blender, because these two guys belong to Kitchen, right? So we might say washing machine needs to be next to dryer. So we select washing machine, drag, and drop below dryer, okay? What else? We have ink right here. We definitely know that printer needs to be below ink. And then these two guys belong to office, okay? PlayStation and TV, these two guys are already next to each other and they belong to living room, okay? So now let's group these two guys. Let's select the items, right click, and we pick group, and then we change the name right here, and we call this kitchen, okay? All right, for the next two items right here, same thing, select two items, right click, group, change name right here, we change for laundry, okay? All right, for ink and printer, same thing, select the two items, right click, group, change the name right here, and we call this office, okay? For PlayStation and TV, same thing, right click, and then we change the name right here, we call this living room, okay? There you have it. Now we are done with the first tip, okay? So we know that these items are grouped. We can click the minus sign right here. And then we know that those items are grouped. For the second tip, I need to show you how to insert slicers, okay? So before we do that, let's insert a pivot chart, okay? As always, please make sure that you're inside of a pivot table and then look for insert. And then let's look for pivot chart. We select pure chart right there, and then we pick the column type. And then we hit okay. 
there it is okay and right here let's close this because we don't need that okay so right here we can even edit we can even customize this pure chat if we want let's say right here product deliver right click field settings and then we change the name right there we call that area okay right here count of product delivered right click let's hide that we can even add right here the chart title right chart title and then for axis titles let's select the primary vertical and then we click outside of the chart and then we start right here editing okay let's select this one right here let's call this units and then for chat title let's call this product delivered okay and then let's insert slicers okay so for in order to insert the slicers we have two options we can select the pivot table right here or we can select the pivot chart so it doesn't matter okay for this exercise let's select the pivot chart and then let's select pivot chart analyze right here and then we see the option insert slicer hit that option and then we pick the items that we want to use as a reference for slicers okay so we say area order accuracy and product delivered we hit okay there you have it three different slicers okay let's rearrange these slicers right here yeah you can put the slicers whatever you want so just want to make sure that you can see the pivot table and the pivot chart as well and we can make this smaller same thing for the area that looks better right let's make this smaller 80 percent so that way we can we can see the changes okay why are the slicers very important okay so let's say that for kitchen we want to know how many items were delivered we select just kitchen we see that the pivot table says we delivered 760 items 92 of them were correct and 668 were incorrect well there is something wrong that this company is doing right they are delivering incorrect items so that's a huge issue and that's a topic for another tutorial right <laughs> okay all right guys there you have it that's it thank you very much for being part of this tutorial again and as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe okay thank you very much and have a good day